This is a broadcast from the Great Grace Community. Welcome. Location of worship. The location of worship is very, very important in our uh, in our in our teaching or in our in, in our lesson today. Uh, the previous Sunday, the location of worship and the location of worship must be accepted. It must be accepted. And the book of Deuteronomy chapter twelve, verse one and four. We must destroy all the altars, cut image, names, and false forms, and concept shapes and system of worship. Therefore, so far, to naenda kufunja kunja zile mentalities, ah, magina zile bifano abla inoneka na kana kwamba ni ni diokuabudu na concept na shapes na systems abazo zina divai nurimwegu ati kwamba ni kuabudu. So therefore. Last Sunday to the to capture Missouri Sana, that to Kasama the book of Deuteronomy chapter 12 of Kwaudani. To Kasama Yakwamba, they are characteristic of the place of worship. They are characteristic um, Aina Ama Tapia Yamahara Papuabudio. Now to Kayaza Kwagaria Kwaudani, to Kasama Yakwamba, the first characteristic of the place of worship is it's a dwelling place of God and it must be diligently shot. It must be Diligently sought. That's the first characteristic of praise and worship. Very, very, very important. As we continue to soldier on, as we continue to approach, as we continue to approach worship, as we continue to understand worship, to Kasema Yakwamba, Tapia, Yamahala, Papua Budio, Lazma, Ikaweze, Yakwaza, Nimahala, Papo, Nimahali, Pamungu, Nakvirebile, Lazma, Tukaweze, Kutafuta, Kwabidi. When you say seeking the praise means that that uh, the diligently inquire, apply the effort to find out, or to consult, or to practice, or to study. When you say it's a praise of God, it has to be diligently sought. It means we must put effort to find out. We must consult. We must study. We must practice. We have to practice that word. Tukisema ya kwamba mahali pa kuabudia Mungu kwetu katika New Testament au Old Testament tulikuwa na yakwalia tunaangalia Abraham as a case study of the journey of worship in the, of the Old Testament tukaangalia Abraham vile ambavyo aliweza kutafuta mahali mahali ambapo kunaitwa Mount Moria the region of Mount Moria he had to find the, the region of Mount Moria hakuweza kwenda kuabudia Mungu mahali popote pale Aliweza kutafuta pale mahali na kutoka pale is around 150 around 150 kilometers wale wamefanya stand ya Bible wanajua ya kwamba pale ambao Mungu alizungumzia Abraham aende akatoa dhabihu pale Mount Moria akaenda na Isaac and the, the expression and manifestation of worship in the time of Abraham tuliweza kuangalia kitoa mwanae it was a sacrifice and aliweza kutafuta Mungu na akaweza kwenda mpaka bahala pale it was a, it, this was a specific praise. Mount Moria was a specific praise. Now, Kiamari Malapara a lot of important or a lot of significant because how or deep on the tabernacle or the temple in the Kuja Kujewa, the temple of the Solomon, so in the Old Testament. And therefore, that praise, uh, the, the character Amatapia and Mahala Parapapapudia. Ni mahali ambapo Mungu yuko na ni lazima paweza kutafuto. Tunaweza kuangalia vizuri sana siku ya pili. The Lord your God will, che, uh, will choose to put his name mahali ambapo Mungu atatafuta uh, atachagua ili jina lake liwe. And now in our gathering today, uh, this is the praise in the spirit we have gathered together in the presence of God. And we to kaza kusoma that scripture that uh, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 13 to 14. Ah uh, sitaweza kusoma it's a place from where we are fed. Wakati ambapo tunasema ya kwamba hapa mahali ambapo tunaabudu ni mahali ambapo tunakula cha kiroho. We are fed spiritually. 
Hapo yule ambaye alikuwa tuongoza maombi asubuhi akisema ya kwamba kama maombi si ya roho that's not a prayer. Therefore when you are saying prayers we pray spirit we are praying spirit that's a, that's our life that's our way of life because wow well, the place of worship is where we come to faith in you know, the spiritual person. Kwa hiyo wakati ambapo unapoomba wakati ambapo unapokuja maombi inaweza kuwa a way of worship before and now we have come on this place na tumeweza kuitafuta in spirit we are inquiring we are consulting we are studying what god wants the demand of god we are ready to be finding out and what will god do in spirit na tukaweza kuangalia vizuri sana siku ya jumapili iliyopita is a place from where we feed verse 7 they also you and your household shall eat before the lord your god and he joins in all you undertaking the which the lord your god has blessed and um, you shall not do at all what you or uh, what we are doing here today every man doing whatever is right in his own eyes so there is a government there is a government sio vile ambavyo unafikiria vile vile unafanya haphasadly but that place about the mesa queen quad the mesa rocket of worship mahala arpetu ambao sio mtu afanye vile anataka kuligana matamani kwa it's not about your self preferences it's not about what you want it's not is what god need is what god require from us and that's why even if we are praying before god hatuletei mungu mahitaji we are not being transformed si kuleta mahitaji hii ndio mungu anataka kututimizie we are coming with a posture because we have located god and now asking god what god you want mungu anataka nini katika haya mambo ambayo iko mbele yetu We are coming with an attitude of asking and inquiring from the Lord, not telling God what you want. No, 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 no. You are coming with an attitude of consulting and finding out what God you want in your prayer because it's a spiritual expression in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And therefore, uh siku ya Jumapili tuweza kuangalia Deuteronomy 14. Uh in the Old Testament, worship was designed to be offered from a specific geographical place chosen by God and, 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 and established government of order. Ukiangalia the kind of worship. Tukiangalia worship in the Old Testament, tunaangalia vile Abel alitoa na vile Abraham alitoa na uh, the worship in the form of the, the, the genre of worship during the time of Abraham. The genre of worship in the time of Moses, Mungu alikuwa ameamrisha kwamba wakaweza kutengeneza the tabernacle where by the tabernacle ilikuwa temple walikuwa na soka wanabomoa wanajenga mahali pale hapo ndipo walikuwa wanatoa sacrifices wanaenda mbuzi zao in the tabernacle if you see the journey of worship in the time of Moses utakuta ya kwamba God was very specific on geographical place but in now in the new testament the same principles apply but does not require a physical location but a spiritual position as illustrated by Jesus to the Samaritan woman In the New Testament, Giovanni Cavazza kuelewa ya kwamba wakati wa kale Mungu alikuwa ame design worship in a certain geographical place. Ya kwamba tu watu wanaabudia mahali fulani. Kama vile Abraham anaenda Mount Mori, Musa anaenda katika taba na kuu. David anajenga the Mungu anamwambia akaze kujenga hekalu Solomon anajenga the temple. Na hapo temple ni watu walikuwa naingia kuabudia. But now in the New Testament the principle of inquiring God remain the principle of consulting God and studying the diligent rest the place remain but it does not require a physical location but a spiritual possession very very important wakapo amelewa hivyo ya kwamba katika agano la kale walikuwa wanaenda mahali fulani lakini sasa in the new testament the same principle of inquiry from God remain searching God diligent rest inquiry from the Lord remain but not a requirement of physical location but a spiritual possession is that the the book of uh John you can go to the book of John chapter 4 let us turn there the book of John chapter 4 and verse 19 and 24 the book of John chapter 4 and verse 19 and 24 Jesus said to her woman believe me The hour is coming when you neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. And verse 23, but the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father 
in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. In verse 24, God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. Must worship Him in spirit and truth. And that's our position now in the New Testament. Yakwaba Maramuma, yes, Akamabia Maramuka Samaria. Yakwaba Mama, Wakati the Yahoo, now Nakuja. Yakwaba want to have Takua when I put the Katika Ura Murima. And we know that the, the story of uh, Jesus with the woman, uh, Samaritan woman. But there's a principle there. Mari about to Nakuja, Yakwaba, yes, Akiomia Kasabia, Yakwaba, Wakatu Nakuja, want to have Tawes and Mungu. The true worshiper will worship the Father in spirit and truth. So remember the principles of worship. The lifestyle is, a, is, a, is, a, is a one of the principles of worship. Priesthood. A few Sundays about the priesthood. All of us, we are priests. We are worshippers during the week. Our lifestyle, my shayetu, in our nyesha kuabudu. Therefore, you cannot put location of worship in Akwamba, however, still muabudi, or wakati ukonyubani, wakati ukazini, where unakuja kuwa muabudi, wakati mekukutana malahapa. So we must allow the place of worship as a spiritual, not a physical, as in the Old Testament. And we have to allow that. Yakwamba, mahari petu, makuabudia, Sio tunaabudu kwa sababu tumeingia katika hili jengo Limejengo na mikono ya watu It's not a physical It's not a uh, umekuja burumuru famu kuwabudu No, 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 no no. It's a spiritual position Whereby God is requiring worship You are lying to over your life as a living sacrifice Hivyo liyombawa Paul aliyabia kanisa wa loba Katikati ya wiki, your life is a worship The only thing is We are having corporate worship Kama vile kuna maopi ya individual Na kuna uh, maopi ya ujumra Kwa hivyo wakati ba tunaungana pamoja Hatuungani kwa sababu tumeletwa pamoja na burugurufa As a physical place Ama tumeletwa pamoja na kanisa na great grace community As a physical place We are worshipping because we are really inquiring what God wants We are really consulting the desire of God We are really locating God We can track Him during worship Hallelujah Sia kwa sababu ya mahali ya papa tuko physically And that's why eh, what the rest of the world is Corona ni kwamba imefuja ile mentality ya bado tulikuwa nayo ya kwamba kanisa ni jengo na ikabadilisha the shift ikakuja sisi ndio kanisa kwa hivyo serikali haikufunga kanisa ilifunga structures the facilities not other uh, sisi kanisa iweze kufungwa kwa sababu we are the church we are spiritual not a physical thing na hiyo mentality ya bado ilikuwa iko mereni watu wanasema ya kwamba tunaenda nyumbani mabwana we are going the house of god now, a king can stand when I'm Jagaria Sap, Cosabra Sabah, last of Wagarifu Kingia. That is a part of the Mepika. Now, position about Tuko, that was God then. But the position that you are in here, that is not God. Because we know the growth, the maturity about the Mepika, the Kwamba, the place we are in now, to Najua Yakwamba, we are the house of the Lord. Sisi is the Hekaro Yabana. See your mother, see your Jango. This is just a facility. And therefore, we must shift in our mentality to We are a spiritual house, we are priests, sister Dio Makuhani, and we are really searching that in spirit. When you can press him in a we are really searching what God is demanding, what God wants. When you are worshiping God, you are hearing the voice of God because it is you are not, you are not the, the, the divine, you are not located by a physical place, but a spiritual position. Lazima tukubali tufuja hiyo udini Hiyo udini lazima tukubali kufuja Hu udini wakusemanga hii mjengo niyo kanisa Lazima tuifuje Hii ni nyuma ya kuona Ya kuzuia mvua Na kuzuia juo Lazima tukubali Unless turudi the Old Testament Wakati ya kare lilikuwa even the temple about Mungu alikuwa amesema ijengwe. Aliruhusu ibomorana ikachomwa yote ikaisha. Hakuna temple inadumu. That was God then. But here, after the, the, the power of the kingdom of God through Jesus Christ, it must be worship. The true worshippers 
must worship the Lord in truth and spirit. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. Very, very important. So, in our kingdom community, the kingdom community is the place of worship. The place of worship must be divided by a physical, must not be divided by a physical location or building. Are you getting that? Are you getting that? If you are like the place of worship is a spiritual, not a physical, as in the Old Testament. OT, not as Old Testament. So, as a kingdom community for GTC, we are the kingdom community. CC, we say, have your father or moon. You know the kingdom of God is all over the earth, but there's a specific community. Kama hii yetu, ya GTC, Great Grace Community. Tukio maala hapa, lazima tukubali, a place of worship must not be divided by a physical location or a building. And you have to understand that. Ya kwa mahali petu hakuweza kuwa divided by a building. Mujeko kwa mahu. Ama ikaweza kuwa divided by a certain place. It must be in spirit. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo tunatoka mahali ya mapo. Tunasema tunabudu mungu kwa sababu tuko mahali fradi. No, 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 no. Tunabudu mungu kwa sababu we have really inquired from him that place to metafuta to meza ku track God in spirit. We understand this is what God is saying. And therefore, wakatu na inuwa mikono yako, hawi nui kwa sababu kodani ya jeko dani. No. Kuinuwa mikono yako na kuwabudu Hawabudu kwa sababu mekuja hapa Burumurfa is a physical place Because it's a spiritual position That's why you have to say that you have to say that you have to say that Why? Because it's a spiritual issue Hallelujah What else is that? That's why you have to say that 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 Because it's a spiritual place It cannot be divided by physical No, 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 no Kwa sababu nimebaa hoit, kunolekana utukufu wa mungu ni mwingi. Mara nimebaa papo, kunolekana loyote. No, no, no. This one can be divided by physical thing. No, it's a spiritual position. Hallelujah. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. 